Let's get a humongous fungus among us. Everybody stand back. Bang! I don't know. Technically, is it hair or is it fur? What do rabbits have? Any idea? Fur? Hair? Wait, what? So yeah, what we're going to do today, my friends, is do a little bit of the off-camera work that I've been doing. Well, off-camera. And uh, some of you do not appreciate me doing things off-camera. So we're going we're gonna to do some stuff on-camera. Some of this boring... Well, it may not be that boring, but it's not too exciting. It's a small project. Just, um, I'm gonna whip up a shepherd shack, uh, for a shepherd to take care of our pink sheep, Dolly, in town. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I think I need, let's make a little bit more sandstone here. I got a ton of sand. There we go. 24 sandstone, regular cut. And then we got the cut sandstone. Let's cut a little bit more. Just want to make sure I have enough. Not that one. Yeah, this one right here. All right. That ought to do i do believe so yeah let's get started so what i want to do today also in town and one of the reasons i want to make a shepherd is not only to take care of our pink sheep dolly but also to trade for emeralds when my emeralds are. yeah i got 25 right now i've been doing a lot of trading off camera we're gonna go and make up a uh the shepherd with the loom to trade with and also a fisherman because i got some stuff here to trade for uh for emeralds and we need we need 28 emeralds i'm gonna show you guys why in a second but first let's grab some glass for this project and a door would be nice we're probably gonna need to make a bed for shep old shep is gonna be uh our shepherd and he's going to love this little hut i don't have any wood hmm. let me grab some wood we'll grab a little bit of acacia wood here get this done all right little white bed nothing too special and yeah let's go let's go let us go you stay here quartzy we do not need quartzy on this little adventure in fact i got a new cat in town <laughs> don't have a name for him yet but uh tamed a little black cat oh by the way i got again off camera another achievement a cd place this is my first farming hey don't eat the nether wart you ding dong what the heck is wrong with you it's all good horse holy moly you'll get sick uh a cd place did it today off camera my first, uh, my first farm. Can you believe it? The first thing we grow in this series is nether wart. Go figure. Very, very odd. Good morning, Mr. Ted Sandyman. Stuck in the sand down there. Um, yeah, so I ended up trading with the librarians in town. And there's our new cat right there. Cat without a name. We'll get him a name sooner or later. I gotta get some name tags is what I need. Gotta do some fishing for some name tags. This beautiful little cat. Black cat with green eyes is adorable. Hi, buddy. Would you like to be a shepherd? I'm looking for I'm, I'm looking for people that want to be a shepherd. What you do is you shave the sacred pink sheep. It's a very important job. It's been handed down from the millennia. Thousands and thousands of years. Whoa! I guess, he, I guess he doesn't want to be a shepherd. Listen, you know what? I don't think I want you to be a shepherd anyway. You don't even know how to operate a door. So forget it. You're fired. Um, yeah, let's go see this guy right here. Oh, by the way, I never knew we could change the uh, color on the signs with uh with dye so that's what you guys had mentioned to me in the comments in the last episode because i know there's a way to do it with code special code but i couldn't get it to work with the code in the java edition but all you have to do is touch your sign with dye how come nobody told me this wow learn something new every day so now who's the nitwit right don't answer that uh, that's a rhetorical question <laughs> hi buddy mr librarian here has a new trade for us a fortune one for 14 emeralds and i want that i want that i want you heard me i said i want that um but we don't have enough emeralds yet well we can buy one but we want to get two and then combine them well let's go ahead and do that right yeah no oh you sneaky little that's what i want right there yeah hold on i'm not done with you um three books yeah i want that and we have we're gonna make paper yeah i meant to do that before we came out here look at my inventory so full i said my inventory is full don't play dumb all right um yeah let's go we'll come back for another book in a second but what i want to do what i want to do is make up that uh make up that shack shepherd shack so we can have mr shepherd take care of our pink sheep and we can build it right here off the off the edge right there off the side right yeah you want some water have it have some water uh, hi big frank big frank's here keeping guard very nice to know uh, we have a lot of franks here by the way which is perfect because we have a pink sheep and pink sheep must be protected at all costs 
All right, let's get started on this project. But first, let us make a chest over here so we have uh, some space to operate because it's getting a little cramped here in my inventory. Plop that down, and then we'll just dump some of this stuff in here for right now that we're going to be doing some trading with in a moment. But we don't need to do that right now. And we'll grab another fortune uh, one book. We'll combine it and get a fortune two. That's math. One plus one. Um, and the fitchy you can go away too. All right, let's do it. I need my cut sandstone. I need the regular sandstone, and I need the cut sandstone slabs for the roof. And we need a shovel. Um, let's do it. Whoop! Right here. Uh, don't mind me, Frank. We're just uh, clearing out a little space here. We're gonna build a shack for Mr. Shepherd. We're gonna have a pink sheep sacred shepherd guy, or whatever. <laughs> All right, and we're going to plop it down. We'll just do it right here. It doesn't have to be anything too large or fancy. Um, we just have to have enough space for Shep to operate in. We'll put the door. Well, let's put the door right, right here. And then old Shep can have his little loom right in here. We're going to need space for the loom, obviously. And I guess a bed, too, right? We should probably give him a bed. Yes, because he needs a place to sleep. He's going to spend all of his time right here. Nowhere else. So, that's the way it is. All right. Just enough of that. Um, yeah, we don't want to We don't want to put a door in yet because uh, Dolly will probably make a, a run for it. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to need a little bit more sand, um, sandstone. Let's make one, two, three, and I don't have enough. Yeah, so these are the kinds of projects and things that I do off camera. Um, but a lot of you guys want me to do this stuff on camera because if you feel like you're missing out on some things So hey, oh, I thought Dolly was, Looked like he was she was floating floating on air. Well, she is sacred. She's got special powers So you never know what she's capable of so we'll put the door there For old Shep and then we're just gonna put up some walls here all the way around and we're gonna give him some windows. Um, you know what? I want to make um, let's make glass panes. Sixteen glass panes. Perfect. And whoop! Ah, yeah, that worked. Um, yeah. So again, it's not gonna be anything super fancy, but it will get the job done. And if we're gonna put windows in, we should probably have some space for windows, like right here. Is this gonna be big enough? Um. Hmm. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's really cramped. I think we might want to expand it. We want to put... Oh, I guess that'll work, right? Uh, yeah, this is that's fine. I think this is fine because we can put the, uh, the loom down and then a bed over here in this side and then the door right here. Let's try that. Put the bed there and then the loom down here and then we're going to put some glass in... Oh, gosh, it's getting dark already? Yeah, this is crazy. I might have to sleep in this bed just temporarily. Set my spawn point here just to make sure that it works. All right, let me check this bed out. It, oh, hold on. It's not It's not late enough. <laughs> I'm going to sleep in Shep's bed. I know, right? Right, Dolly? That's disturbing. Very disturbing. Well, it's bouncy. I make the best beds, you know. I make the best, bounciest beds ever. All right, now we can blast this out so Dolly can't get away. Um, and obviously we're gonna need a roof and I'm just gonna do this with some slabs like so Again super cramped. Whoops. I don't want that um, But Shep Shep has a job to do anyway. It's not like he's gonna get out and go play He's gonna be in here pretty much 24 7 doing uh, doing Doing shepherdy things So that's his job now we gotta go find a ship. We don't have one yet. Hopefully we can get one to come and take this job. Alright, I'm gonna sleep in the bed and make sure it works properly. Feels pretty good. Perfect for a shepherd. There we go. Um, and the door. Let's put the door up. And now we have to go find a shepherd. Whoops. There we go. Alright, this is perfect. Let's give him a torch too so that Mr. Shepherd can see and do his work on the loom and take care of the sacred pink sheep. All right, let's open up the door and get a Shep. Hi, you look like a Shep. Shep? Oh, yeah. He's a shepherd. Perfect. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> Wait a second. Get back to work. Holy moly. The guy was going to work for one minute and then leave. Dude, start working. You know what you got to do, right? 
Let me go get the sacred pink sheep shears. Now, this is a very, very, very coveted position. Working on the sacred pink sheep. So, you should be, you should be proud. Standing on the bed. All right, Shep, here you go. Sacred shares. Let's put a torch up here, and let's give, uh... Let's put up a little sign here for Shep. There we go. Mr. Shep's Shepherd Shack. Open 24-7, 365. So, there you go. Now, I need some dye to put on that. I'm thinking pink. I'm not sure how the pink's gonna look with the, uh... The maroon purple background, but we're gonna find out. Gotta go get some pink dye. I think I have some back at home. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I think what we're gonna do right now is make. Uh, let's go make a. Let's go make a fisherman. Now I'm not. I don't need to make a house for a fisherman. We just have to put this barrel down in somebody's house, and some nitwit will turn into a fisherman. Oh, let's trade. Let's trade with Shep, too. This is also something I wanted to do, obviously. Is have more opportunities to get Elmeralds. Elmeralds. <laughs> Hi, do you have any Elmeralds? 18 white wool. What? Uh, how about some black wool? Oh, you. Tell you what, Shep. You know what? You're fired. It's okay. We're going we're gonna to change that. We're going to change that trade. Get back over here. I'm just kidding. Get back to work. You're open 24-7. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Mm-hmm. See how quickly they change their mind when you fire them? And then they come right back, begging on their hands and knees. Give me back my job, my purpose in life. I finally have a purpose in life, and it's a very important purpose. Taking care of Dolly here. All right, Dolly, you, have, uh, you got your man. So you should be good to go. All right, now let's go. Let's go make a fisherman and do some trading. We need one more emerald. That's it. Actually, we could just go. We don't have to make a fisherman because <laughs> I have. I do have. I have this right here to make the paper. All right, we got plenty of paper. What was it? Twenty something? Yeah, we could just do this. We could do that. Get our. Let's just get our other book right out of the way right now. And I'll still make a fisherman anyway. I want a fisherman and there's still unemployed people here. So we want everybody working. Everybody working in town. There we go. 14 and a book. Oh, hold on. What? Don't get so excited. <laughs> he was so excited. But I forgot the book. Let's go get the book. Wait, do I have another book? I don't think I have another book. Oh, I do. One. Whew. All right. See, I thought of everything. I thought of everything. I got prepared off camera. And now we're doing the fun stuff together on camera. Hello, Mr. Librarian. I have 14 emeralds and a blank book, and I would like a Fortune 1 book, please. Thank you very much. So we're going to need... I really want Fortune 3 eventually. Excuse me, I can't press the button. Um, but we have to combine two Fortune 1s to make a Fortune 2, and then we can put that on our diamond pickaxe here, and then we have to buy two more Fortune 1s to make another Fortune 2 to make a Fortune 3. Because you can't add Fortune 2 plus a Fortune 1 to get Fortune 3. It just doesn't work that way. That's uh, it's, it's, it's a different kind of math. It's Minecraft math. Um, so we still have to do that whole process again. 28 more emeralds. Two more Fortune 1 books. And we'll have Fortune 3 on our diamond pickaxe. That is the maximum. Oh, I love it, Shep. Shep's working hard in there. Doing whatever he does. I don't know. He's just making weird noises. But that's cool. And he can't get out. And hopefully he doesn't get et. Oh, <laughs> he just slammed the door and Dolly. Dolly, you don't want to go in there. I really don't think you do. You should stay here and graze and drink water like that. Just let Shep do his business. He'll come out and cheer you once in a while. Actually, I should probably show show Shep. Whoa, sacred shears, go over here. Shep, come here. You got some training. You can come on out. I'll show you something. Let's see if we can get him out with an emerald. Come here. Come on. Hey, take a break. You get a break right now. Yes, come on out, and I'm going to show you how to do this with a sake. No, he doesn't want Whatever. <laughs> Hopefully, he's better at that than I am. I only got one one piece. Uh, there we go. All right, Shep. Have a nice day. Let's make a fisherman. We can do that in one of these houses over here. We got... Oh, that's a nitwit bothering the farmer. Hey, nitwit. Leave the farmer alone. You better run. Frank, grab that guy. Grab him. He's on probation. 
We're gonna give him a job. <laughs> right here. A barrel. Sideways. Sideways barrel. Will it work that way? I don't know if it's gonna work that way. I better flip it. Let me just flip it. I don't know. There we go. Right side up barrel. Hey pal. I got a job for you. You look like uh, you look like you might enjoy fishing. I mean, it's not even a job. It's just fishing. I mean, fishing's fun. I have an idea. Let's go. Let's make a fishing pole, and we're gonna try to get this guy a little closer to the water, and we'll put the barrel down there. Maybe that will uh, entice him to turn into a fisherman. He'll see how much fun it is to fish and get paid for it. Well, not much, but I mean. Long hours, low pay, what's better than that? There he goes. Alright, I'm gonna go get the barrel and bring it closer to him. Maybe if we put it down by the river. Down by the river! That might make a difference. Because now that he's down by the water. Oh, it's break time. Is that it? Oh, look at Shep. Shep, you don't get a break. Get back to work. 24-7, <laughs> that guy. But uh, fishermen, fishermen don't have to work 24-7. They got it easy. Here, this is what you do. You just toss the line in the water. You can even fish in your well. It's fine with me. And there he goes. Get up. You know, buddy, I don't like you. Can I just bring him right to the water? Come on. Uh, I got the right workstation, don't I? I think a barrel is for fishermen. This guy just does not want to work. I think he's the last person in town that doesn't actually have a job. Shep, what did I tell you? Go do something. Massage Dolly. Uh, clipper toes, manicure, pedicure, whatever sheep do. I don't know. Do something. You're a shepherd. Go, go, shep. Erd. Yeah, that's right, Dolly. Where are you going? Where are you going? Going indoors. This. Oh, is that your house? Okay. Wait a second. Maybe I have to put the barrel in his house. Let's try that while he's in bed. Captive audience. <laughs> and if this doesn't work, we'll try a different. Workstation. We can turn him into a, I don't know, a uh, weaponsmith or something. I wanted the fishermen because fishermen are easy to trade with. Whoops. It's just like string and fish. Let's just try to put that down like that. There we go. All right. So, go fish. <sighs> Not you, cat. Go fish. Oh, you are the worst. You are the worst. Let's head back home. And oh boy, here come the zombies. We gotta, we gotta get to bed. We gotta get to bed quick. I don't want these guys to die. Did I get all my fortune books? I did not. If there's still time, we'll go down to the Nether. Cause I think we still have a little bit of time. I want to find the warped fungus, among us uh, biome. There we go. Come on in, kitty cat with no name. Get in here. There you go. Close the door behind you, letting the flies out. All right, now let's uh, let's combine these two. Well, you know what? Let me go to bed first. You want to come up, sleep upstairs with all the other cats? Got a lot of unnamed cats. Good night. Ooh, look at that emerald. It matches your eyes, little tiger cat. Isn't that adorable? Love the green eyed cats. Oh, what'd you get me? Oh, you're a good kitty. Kitty got me a wabbit's foot. Aww. Wabbit foot. Thank you. I'm going to put that right there. I don't know where that rabbit foot came from. She must have just coughed it up. Like a furball. <laughs> fortune 1 and Fortune 1 equals Fortune 2. And now we're going to put that on the pick. So, like I said, we're going to have to get two more Fortune 1s to make a Fortune 2 to make a Fortune 3. But this is fantastic for now. And we'll just call it Fortuna. Fortuna? Fortuna. I don't know. That seems like it might be a foreign language word for Fortune. Or um, something about fish. Tasty tuna fish. Sounds good to me. Fortuna. We got Fortuna here with two fortune. Thank you so much for that rabbit's foot gift. I love it so much. Look at it on, on my wall. It's beautiful. I'm going to call you hairball, okay? Because you coughed it up. And, well, it's not really a hairball. It's kind of a hair. Well, it's hairy. Or furry. I don't know. Technically, is it hair or is it fur? What do rabbits have? Any idea? Fur? Hair? Wait, what? No, stop. All right, never mind. Dumb question. Um, let's go out and do something. One more thing. And we're not going to be able to go to the nether today, guys. Unfortunately, there's no time. So here's what I want to do. Where's my nether stuff? Nether stuff right here. Right here, right where I left it. It is actually marked, or at least uh, identified with 
frames. That's why I do that. And I want some nylium and a crimson fungus. And we're going to go make a, uh, a giant fungus tree. Um, there is one more thing I want to get before we go do this. We're going to need... Where is all my wood? My crimson wood. Ah, right here. Crimson stem. That's perfect because I just want this wood right here. We're going to go make a giant mushroom in the uh, out in front, in my front yard, because that's fun, and I want to do it. <laughs> and I want to have all the mushrooms, all the big mushrooms grown right in the front. And we have the crimson nylium for that and the crimson fungus. We can hit that with some uh, some bone meal. Grab a few extra bones here just in case. And then we are uh, we're gonna make it into like a little a little house. A little house next to other other house out there. I wanna make ladder. There we go. Six ladders ought to do. And I think that's every oh glass. We should probably grab some glass for winders. Um I like the blocks in the mushroom houses. Alright, I think we are ready. Let's go out here and grow a big shroom. Oh, there's a little shroom right here. But we want a big shroom. I want a big shroom right next to this shroom. And I want, like, a little walkway between the two of them. And we're going to have, like, a, a mushroom town right here. It's going to be epic. And we're going to start with the crimson. And then we're going to make the, uh, we'll have to get the warped. The warped variety, too, which we are going to do. Again, I wanted to go find a warped, um, uh, for us today, but we just don't have the time. This episode is already probably around 20 minutes or so, but we will do that in the next episode for sure. All right. Oh, oh, you don't eat apples, do you? Hairball? Really? You eat fruit? Let's just get rid of these leaves. I don't want them to get in the way when we grow this thing. I want it to be magnificent. Because these things are actually, uh, they can be humongous. Alright. Uh, what? Yeah, humongous. That's a good name, isn't it? It's actually a really good name. Humongous. It's a good name for something big, like maybe an iron golem. Although, I call my iron golems Big Frank, but humongous is, uh, is a pretty decent name, too. Alright, let's do it. Let's get a humongous fungus among us with our bone meal. Everybody stand back. Bang! Oh! It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. And we're going to make a little house right inside. Oh, I like the way that looks, too. It's got, like, um, this little space right here. So you could clear out the inside, right? Hollow it out. And you can just walk around and look out that little space. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. Let me get up there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I love it. Let's, uh, let's grab some of our crimson slab. And we're going to get to work get to work on this thing so we want to make a little walkway over to it i guess we can make a door right here and go out that way but we have this door so we don't really need another door do we i don't think so let's just have a little way over um and yeah i guess we could knock this out and then put the um put this right underneath it so that'll be kind of the floor ish like this right now what's the best tool for the job here. I think a hoe, right? Is it a hoe? Let me go make a quick hoe. Alright, got an iron hoe. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. Oh yeah, it's fast. Ooh, is it fast? Alright, yeah, so let's um let's hollow it out. And again, nothing too fancy, but it's gonna be kind of cool when it's all said and done. Maybe we won't even have glass up here. This will just be open air. Although that could be dangerous, because we can get shot. That's why uh, it's nice to have Nice to have um, windows and walls so you can't get shot by skeletons, but I think um, I think that's pretty awesome. Let's put the block... Ooh, can't actually reach it. Grab that little dude. Right there! Oh, it's amazing! Yeah, we can hang down some more of these weeping vines, I think, too. To add some... Uh, add a little natural look to it. But I like it. really like it. So it's kind of like a little little platform it even comes with its own light little shroom right here <laughs> look at that what do you think everybody i like it that's cool we can just hang out up here and when we want to go inside of it getting dangerous we can just sidestep right over here and back in close the door and be safe inside pretty cool stuff i might um well i'm not gonna put any lights up because the mushroom light is actually perfect I'm wondering about maybe getting rid of the stem, though. Oh, yeah, we should just let's put a roof up, though. 
Uh, there's some crimson, uh, weeping, weeping vines right there growing. In fact, why don't we knock this back? We're gonna get a little more headroom. Want a little more headroom like that, and that is really nice having that shroom light in here. Okay, I think we're done here. That was fun, uh, but we are now done for the day because we are out of time. And like I said, in the next episode, we'll head over to um, we'll go back to the Nether and try to find a warped fungus among us, and then we'll make a humongous warped fungus tree, and we'll connect them all. And, uh, yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> That's it for now, my friends. Hope you enjoyed. Come on in, hairball. You got anything for me today? Come on. What now? Cough it up. Cough it up. I think you have to sleep first. And then and then they, uh, they leave something for you in the morning. I'm going to go to sleep with my hoe in my hand. Stand back, everybody. I got a nice hoe in my hand. All right. Let's go see if uh, hairball has anything for us. Hairball? Oh, you're the best. Look at you coughed up some rotten flesh. <laughs> All right, well, we'll put this right here. It's some special rotten flesh right from Hirabal's gut. Yeah, it's a little sticky and smelly, but uh, it's precious. It's precious. It's precious to me. <laughs> oh, I love Hirabal. Hirabal, you're, you're, you're the greatest cat ever. Uh, I mean, you're the greatest cat too, Quartzy. You're all great cats. Oh, boy. All right, that's it for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.